Okay, Mr. Sir Dexter! Thank you, Ms. Thank you, everyone, for you. So we're here, naman, uh, for tips and tricks on I9. Okay, so what I did, uh, actually, well, I was given 20 minutes, so I was thinking of what are the best stuff that I can share with you guys. Um, actually, I went around the internet and tried to look for what are your most questioned uh, features of Windows or IE9 that people are wanting to look forward to. Okay. So for one, uh, I've determined that the three categories that we're going to focus on are tips and tricks. One would be basically privacy, the other one would be performance, and last would be interface. So let's start with privacy. Okay. So sa in privacy, oh well, one of the things are in terms of privacy, one of the things is that people wanted to know how to open up your browser la in in private browsing mode. Okay. So basically, all you need to do is right click your IE, and there is your icon there for in private browsing. Or if you already have an open up browser, say for example this one. Okay. Uh, this one. Uh, you the shortcut that you can do is Control Shift P, and basically it opens up a new window in in private mode. Okay. The thing is, hindi siya pwedeng mag-open in the same window because it's open. It opens up a new session. Okay. Now, ano 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 advantage ng in private browsing? Anything that you do here, wala is the same sa system nyo. So you can browse anything you like. When you close the window, everyone is up to you. We have kids here. Pero may domain na. So you can browse mga ano, you can offer mga products. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So basically, you can browse anything you like. Tapos when you can be guaranteed that when you close the window, nothing is left. There are there are no pieces left. Well, if you did that, me disclaimer to ah, me disclaimer to. But if you do this in your office. Sa computer mo walang record, but sa servers or sa proxy at saka sa firewall, may logs pa rin yan. Huli ka! Huli ka! Matay ka na! Dilit mo yung log. So next one. Okay. Next for privacy, we have smart screen filter. Okay. Smart screen filter allows us to browse. And actually, pag meron ka na browse ng website, let me just open up. Bakit ka kaya? Ako na kaya na kaya. Kasi na kaya. Well, browse na natin. Test drive ng Windows or ng IE. So basically, if you browse the website that has to be reported by users as non-trusted or some they have content na hindi trusted ng ano, ng Google Drive. Okay, let me just... More browsing notes. Okay, so if you browse a website that has yung problems with issues or in terms of trust and people have reported that, Microsoft will determine and add it to their, their, to their block lists. Bug na sila siya. Bug. Ano side? Bug batch. Do you know that? Okay. So what do you get when you browse a website like that? You will be notified immediately. Hindi pa naglo-load yung page or actually maglo-load yung page tapos pag detected siya, it will block the site first so that it will prevent you from accessing any malicious software, malicious code running on your system. Papasahin ka na lang. Papasahin ka na lang. Sana mag-load. Strike, strike eh. Load. Strike, well ka, well ka. Load. Napatay ka. Napatay ka. Hindi na siya talaga nag-load. Loading na. So pag nag-load yung content na mayroong malicious, well, from a malicious site, or provider, magkakaroon ako ng red na screen. Kasi, yun. Yun, 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 yun. Meron. Strike, strike. So, it works. Yan. So, it gives you the option to continue browsing kung sure nga talaga kayo safe yun. Or, you can go to disregard and go to your home page instead. So, babalik ang ganang. Question. 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 Yes. 
Hindi pwede ka report yun yung site na. Pwede ka report na lang yun. Yes, you can report the site. So if, let's say, first victim kayo ng website na yun, and you decided to report, uh, report the site, okay? Kunwari, ganit kayo sa Google. Yo! Yo! Report unsafe website. Oh, but, 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 immediately, and yan, block yan, ha? Okay, Microsoft ha? will review the site if it is actually non-trustable. Okay, Saka lang yan, ipa-block. Okay. Okay. And of course, knowing Microsoft, okay. Hindi, joke lang. Okay, next we have... Oops. Yan. One of the previous ano, complaints with yung deleting private history, especially for other browsers then, is that when you delete browsing history, it deletes everything. So actually in, in IE8 and IE9, you get to be selective in what you delete. So a shortcut in terms of deleting browsing history is control shift deletes. And, oops, syempre, yeah, sa IE, let me open up IE, control shift deletes. And what we get is nothing. Control shift delete. Yeah. Okay. You get to choose whatever you want to delete. Okay. So let's say you want temporary internet uh, file stamp, or if you want to clear everything, but also preserve the cache na ng web ng favorite sites. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Lang. Okay. You can even just delete, download history, cookies. Yeah. So, but basically, the history it's still there, so that if you want to go to your history of favorites, yeah. Okay, you can still go to your history. Okay, next. C cleaner. C cleaner. So we also have tracking or tracking protection. Paano sa lang tracking protection? These are websites where basically this protects you from advertisement sites that do track whatever you're doing. Imagine you're browsing a, let's say, a site now, let's say for hobbies, and you're interested in cars. Okay, so you're browsing, you're browsing, you're browsing, and basically the advertisements on those particular sites, they, are, they have now created a profile of you that you like cars. Now you went to another website. When you come to the website, na yun, you will notice that all of the advertisements there are also about cars. Because they now know that your interest is cars. Okay? For most people, especially in the United States, they consider this as invasion of privacy. internet. So you can turn that on or prevent that from happening by going to safety and tracking protection. Then as you can see from my, uh, my end, it's enabled. So let me give you as an example sites. I think it's trabaho.com. Marami yan. Marami yan. Marami yan. Trabaho. Oh. Ang jobs. Hindi na. Chicharon. Kita ka na chicharon, no? And barbecue. And boys. Jobs. Ano? Takatak boys. Takatak boys. Bote bakal. So let me turn off the ano. Dispatcher. Let me turn this off. Let me turn this off. And let me refresh the site. No more drink for this guy. Why are you asking me? Actually, it's already out. Wait, wait. Because it's a new format. Dati, there was this advertisement that it shows you when it's disabled. Because when I enable this, it's just a advertisement. It's just a blank area. Okay. Oops, balik tayo sa geolocation naman. So, di ba nangyayari sa inyo when you're browsing YouTube that you try to play this video or you may play certain music that you will say, this video is not allowed in your particular geographic location. Okay. So, one thing that you can do is disable geolocation. So, how do you do that? So, you go to your safety. Okay. Oops. Sa uh, internet options pala. Okay. Privacy. Then you have never allow websites to request your physical location. Now YouTube won't be able to determine where particular in the world you are located. So most likely the videos that you are not allowed to watch before, now you should be able to watch them. Just like, just like, just like, 
Now, for performance naman, okay? A lot of times, I is getting rap or...